Hi guys, today's video I'm going to talk to you guys all about my favorite products of 2015. These are like best of the best, cream of the crop, creme de la creme, like the best products that almost changed my life or some of them did change my life over the past year. I either discovered them over the past year or have just been really really loving. Um, I'm not going to do like each one from a category because you know there just might not be a blush that I particularly loved so I'm just gonna tell you guys what I really loved from the things that actually jumped out to me I've been thinking about this for so long and um, started a list on my phone just to make sure I don't forget anything so I'm pretty sure I got everything now if you have questions about something that you heard me raving about in the past and wonder if I still love it please leave them down below and I will be sure to answer those for you I might have just forgot about it you know or they might just not be as good as the rest of the products in here I love to do mascara reviews as you guys know on my channel because I have short Asian lashes I'm wearing falsies today but usually I only rely on mascara especially in everyday life so lashes is very important to me in one of my mascara videos someone asked me if I use a lash enhancer and yes I do I use Revital Lash eyelash I'm not really sure what this is called I'll put the name down everything by the way mentioned in this video will be listed down below but this is the revital lash lash conditioner I'm pretty sure um, basically what you do is you apply this only once a day you don't really need much more than that it is kind of a pricey product it just kind of looks like an eyeliner and it's a clear gel ish formula after you take a shower cleanse your face everything um, right before you put your skincare on you would put this right on your lash line similar to where you would put like a black eyeliner um, right above your lashes that's where you would coat your lashes and it's supposed to make your lashes grow longer and make them more voluminous as well so do I think this has worked I do think so absolutely I do think so it's not such a dramatic difference though I would have to say uh, when I first started using this like maybe within the couple weeks I did notice quite a dramatic difference a dramatic enough difference that I would keep using this but I do notice when I don't use it my lashes tend to get more sparse and that's you know not really good and they do make them grow a little bit longer but again it's not like a miracle product it's not like lash extensions I first heard about this from ShanXO and she recommended this because a lot of lash enhancing products on the market now actually changes like the eye color, your eye color or like the skin around your eyes. They're just pretty much kind of dangerous to use. This is like one of the safer ones or one of the only safe ones. I'm not sure. haven't really done much research into it. I just know that it does work for me and it doesn't really irritate my eyes. Um, so after you apply this, sometimes your eyes do get a little itchy. Or I read the instructions and says it's normal if your eyes feel itchy after applying this because that means it's working. Like I said, this is kind of a pricey product. I believe I got this for about either $70 or $80, but it's lasted me for almost a year and it's still going strong. I don't feel like I have to repurchase this. Maybe it will last a couple more months. I do think this is a worthwhile product. I do think it makes a difference. So if you're looking to enhance your natural lashes, this is something to check out. One of the most asked questions I get on my channel is what's your favorite mascara? My favorite mascara of all time is the L'Oreal Telescopic or Telescopic Waterproof Formula. That specific formula in the waterproof version has been discontinued in stores which breaks my heart because that mascara is perfect, the formula is perfect, the wand is perfect, it creates the longest lashes ever, it just, it's my holy grail. Recently though, I did find it on Amazon for like a reasonable price, you know sometimes they sell discontinued products at like 50 billion dollars, but this one was actually a normal price, so I will link that one down below so you can know what I'm talking about. I find that it's really weird that this mascara is discontinued because I feel like the normal version, the non-waterproof formula and the carbon black formula has recently gained a lot of attention because a bunch of youtubers start talk about it but I'm not sure why they just continue the waterproof one I really hope they're gonna like reformulate it just a little bit not too much because it was perfect and bring it back because that was my holy grail it was so good final thing about lashes this is 
I feel like this makes number one difference. Actually, yeah, this does make the biggest difference in my mascara routine. And it's an eyelash curler. So before I really got into makeup, I thought eyelash curlers were all the same. You know, like a random one from Target or something would be exactly the same. Because I thought, you know, it's hardware. How different can it be? It's not like a formula or anything. But was I wrong? Oh my gosh, the Shu Mora eyelash curler is the best eyelash curler ever. It just gives you the curl that you need and want in every eyelash curler. I feel like I've tried so many cheap eyelash curlers in my lifetime. They either don't, like they do a half-ass job, they don't really curl your lashes or the curl just kind of goes away. These really crimp your lashes and they make them stand up. You can either do the, you know, the three-step method where you curl at the base of your lashes and then the mid and then the end. I don't really do that because I feel like it kind of shortens your lashes actually. I just crimp it one time and I make sure it's it's getting a really good curl so my lashes stand straight up and I follow up with a waterproof mascara right away so my lashes stay straight up all day. I'm telling you, it makes the biggest difference. This actually I thought was hard to get, but actually you can get this on Amazon for $16. You don't want to buy off the Shuomura website because um, you know you have to pay for shipping or you have to buy a certain amount to get free shipping. Another favorite of the year is definitely Amazon Prime. That's something I think it's definitely worth investing in if you're a shopaholic like me. It makes shopping so much easier, it makes a lot of things free shipping and really fast shipping as well. So that's, a, that's you know, that's not makeup related, but that's definitely one. Back to this eyelash curler. If you find your lashes hard to curl, this is definitely really important. This and like basically any waterproof mascara together will give you curled lashes for the day. It won't go anywhere. I promise you. Now, taking them off might be a different story, which we'll get to later, because I have a bunch of products that work so well for that, but this is what you need if you want curled lashes, okay? Now, I only have one face-based product to share with you guys, and this has been... Like, honestly, I won't be mad if I lost every single one of my foundations and was just left with this one. I mean, of course, I'll go buy more, but this is really all I need. This is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Your Skin But Better CC Cream, I guess. This is, oh my god, this is everything I want in a tube, okay? It has SPF 50 plus protection, which you know, I'm like a freak about the sun. It, I need to protect my skin against the sun at all times. That is so important to me, and it should be important to you as well. It's just, you know, very beneficial for your skin. Uh, it claims to be anti-aging, which, you know, it's not something I can test to, but it does say it's a hydrating serum, which I absolutely agree. I have very, very dry skin. This foundation or skin product never accentuate any of my dry patches. I'm talking about any of them. None of my, not on my nose, my under eyes area, none on my skin. It's so hydrating. It's actually very, very dewy. And it is very full coverage as well. I don't really need too much coverage on a normal day, but sometimes I do like to have a full coverage look. This gives you a ton of coverage and a ton of protection. And it has a pump. I do have this in the shade light, which is actually quite dark. I've mentioned before, this is my favorite foundation base product of 2015 for sure. Love this one. Next product is by Mario Badescu. This is the drying lotion. This is a skincare item. So basically what it is, it's a spot, acne spot treatment. As you can see on camera, it has some kind of a clear, clear liquid on top and then a pink liquid on the bottom. Actually, it's more like a paste kind of thing. What you do is you take a Q-tip and dip it in both of the solution and then dot it onto your spot. Let that dry overnight and I swear to you, your spot gets much like it kind of like expedites the life cycle of a pimple. If your pimple was about to pop the next morning, it would have like evaporated or popped or be really ready to pop so you can just pop it and get on with your day. Or if you have like an under the skin pimple sometimes, you know, like one of those, you can feel like it's coming up, you dot it on top, next day it will just be gone or like, again, be visible so you can get rid of it. It's a really great product. This is actually my second bottle. My first bottle, I've pretty much used all of this white liquid. There's just a little bit of pink left. 
I I don't know, I swear by this. My boyfriend and I both share this. We use so much of this. We go to bed like with pink dots all over our faces. But it's amazing. It's an amazing product. And it's not too pricey either. I think it's like about, it's under $20. So this will last you a long time. Okay, so everyone hates cleaning brushes. Or at least I do. It's such a tedious job. I hate cleaning brushes, okay? And then I discovered this product. This is my... You can see how much I love this. I mean, I use this whole bottle. This is called the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. Or cleaner. I actually already ordered another one. You can get this on Sephora.com. I have a backup of this already. This is how much I've used. Okay, this makes your life so easy when it comes to cleaning brushes. I... You'll find, like, a lot of things that I like, I like them because they're such lazy girl, like, options. This is the ultimate lazy girl product. One second. So essentially what it is, is that this is a solution that will clean your brushes and make them dry really quickly as well. Nicole Gorello, Nicole, I'm not, Nicole Gorello, I think that's her last name. I might be totally making that up, but you know, the really famous YouTuber, she did a video just demonstrating this and that's how I found out about this product. I will link that video down below so you can see, because I'm not going to do a demo right now so you can see how she cleans it, but Literally, I just pour this into a bowl, dip my brush in it, and then I just get a huge towel because, you know, if I'm cleaning my brushes, I'm going to clean a lot of them at the same time. And then just um, using the solution on the brush and just wipe the brush. And all of the gunk, all of the foundation or the eye makeup, whatever you're cleaning, this works for any kind of face brushes or eye brushes, will come right off. And the best part is that the brush dries so quickly, much quicker than you would to, much quicker than you were to wash it with water. I don't know why and um, it says that it's a rinse free formula that conditions and deodorizes natural and synthetic makeup brushes and it has a pleasant vanilla scent. It's quite strong once it's like recently dried but if you just wait a little bit to use it it'll just go away. This will change your life. I'm telling you if you hate cleaning brushes this will definitely change your life. Um, this huge bottle lasts at me quite a while actually. I got this probably March or April of last year so almost a year I'm almost done with this so it's definitely worth investing in. This I think was about 30 or 40 dollars so it's a great product. I highly recommend this. Everything in this video obviously I highly recommend but yeah this is really good. I'm gonna talk about this right now and this is a product that in the beginning of this year, I wore so much and I was like, I had to force myself to stop wearing it because for a while this is all I was wearing. And I'm talking about the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, but specifically in the color Bronze Taupe. Oh my god, guys. I used this in my Rimmel video um, a couple videos back. I will link that down below and you'll see what I'm talking about or on the screen right now. This is like a shiny color. What I love about this color though, it's just so perfect. First of all, this color is just so reflective and so pretty on the lid. But what I really love about this is that it's the perfect like blend or in between of warm and cool. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. It just looks really flattering on my eyes. I think this is so easy. Like I said, a lot of the times in the beginning of this year, I would just wear this like on my lid alone and blend it out, blend out the edges and be ready to go. It's so stunning. It's really easy one step process and it's from the drugstore. And the shine and the sheen it gives, it's just so pretty. And, I don't know, the color of it, the tone of it, it literally is such a gem. I love this product so much. Again, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Bronze Taupe, 890. I'm sh I know a lot of people love this entire range. A lot of other colors are popular as well. But this one, like I said, this product, I mean, this video is all about creme de la creme. It's about the best of the best. This is the best of the best for my eyes, for my liking, and my preference. Next up, it's my favorite concealer that I've discovered of all time, of my lifetime. So before this year, I thought concealers were pretty much all the same. I really loved some concealers from Maybelline. I thought they were so good, but until I found this product, it kind of really changed my life. I have under eye dryness, as I've mentioned, and this concealer has never, ever accentuated any of those drynesses and it's very full coverage. I'm talking about the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. I have this in the shade Fair. 
this is kind of a neutral slash cool tone color it's a little bit pink tone which I don't mind because for my under eyes that actually um, delivers a very brightening effect so I really like this the consistency of this is stellar just like the name is suggests it's just a very like serum -y concealer you can see how like wet that is kind of and you can see how full coverage that is I know a lot of people this year love the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I tried that one. If you have dry under eyes, this one is a ton better, like a million times better. I'm not even joking you. The Naked Skin Concealer is very full coverage, but it's very drying as well, and it smells like paint. I do like it for the rest of my face. I think it works really well, like covering up my blemishes and highlighting some areas of my skin. But for my under eyes, this is what I will use pretty much until I find something better, which I don't foresee I ever doing in the near future because I've tried a lot of them. This is so good if you have dry under eyes. Like I said, it's very, very full coverage and, you know, it's very, very hydrating. I love this product. I discovered this later on this year, but I have no problems including this in this video because it's just become my favorite concealer of all time for my under eyes. So good. Okay, let's talk about powders. Similar to the L'Oreal eyeshadow, these powders, I kind of had to force myself to stop using and try something else so I'm not like using the same products over and over again. And this is a pricey item so it should be good and I'm here to tell you it is really good. I'm talking about the Hourglass powders. Um, I have the, I first got the Hourglass, this is the Ambient Lighting Palette and it has the colors Dim Light, Incandescent Light, which is exclusive to this palette, and Radiant Light. I really liked this for a long time. I mean, I still really love it. I love to set my face with Dim Light all over my face. It's very natural looking. I mean, the whole thing with these powders is that it's supposed to give you like an invisible, but like noticeable, like filter, have a soft focus effect. It makes your skin look so good but so undetectable like all these magical words just think about all those like buzzwords and I'm like it's so true like it just makes it blurs out your pores and your fine lines and it doesn't look like a powder you know it's not like a Laura Mercier like foundation powder that you can see it's caked on okay I'm not trying to throw Laura Mercier any shade but I'm just saying you know like any kind of foundation powder with pigmentation you can kind of see it on your skin but this you cannot detect it on your skin during the day and sometimes when I'm like at a work setting where I need to be a little bit low-key with my glam I use incandescent light as a highlight on my cheekbones it's very very subtle but definitely noticeable it's it's just such a pretty shade and with radiant light when I'm extremely fair I use it as a bronzer or a bronzer topper or a blush as well sometimes so I really love this palette after this palette I thought I had to get this shade this is the diffused light this is a kind of a yellow tone um, powder I use this for everything I use this to set my under eyes I use this to set my entire face I don't recommend setting your under eyes with this in the day because it does have very very fine micro shimmers in it so under direct sunlight you can kind of see your under eyes with glitter sometimes if you're using this during the day, I would just dust it all over your face. Don't concentrate it too much on your under eyes. But if you don't have anything else to use, this is, you know, really good. I mean, it's a really good product. So if you, you're not that picky, I would use this on my under eyes. I mean, I've hit pan and I barely hit pan on my products because I have so many products. So you can see how much I really like this. Again, gives the face a soft focus effect. It doesn't look like powder, but it makes your... Um, makeup less sticky you know what I mean it kind of just sets down your makeup so you can apply bronzer on top and you know look really gorgeous so the hourglass powders they're definitely some of my favorites I really like these okay let's talk about makeup removers as I mentioned early on I only wear waterproof mascara and a lot of people hate waterproof mascaras and I understand that because they're such a bitch to take off like I'm with you I understand a hundred percent these are the products I found that takes waterproof mascara off like a dream like so easily this one I've already mentioned this is from the body shop this is the chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter I also really really love the um, chamomile oil those two products are hand in hand both my favorites I just didn't bring it out from my bathroom because it's kind of like it's like oily and difficult to handle and gets messy this one 
I like maybe a little bit better, but not because of formula, just because the portability of it. I take this with me when I, you know, I'm traveling because it's so easy. It just looks like this. It kind of looks like a body cream. You can see I use a lot of it. I have a backup already, but what you do is you scoop a little bit out and um, kind of work it within your palms and it melts into an oil and then you just massage it all over your face and it melts every single last drop of your makeup off of your face, okay? It melts everything. You look, might look like a panda. Once you rinse it off, like there's no makeup on your face anymore. That's just what I love. It's so satisfying for me to know that. With the waterproof mascara, I just kind of push it against my lash line a little bit more aggressive and kind of rub a little bit, little bit, tiny bit more, and it just takes everything off. So I love this so much. When I'm doing my full routine, this is what I go for, this or the cleansing oil, and it depends. If I'm home, I'm using the oil. If I'm traveling, I'm using this. It's so easy. Right before I get in the shower, I melt my entire face off, and then I jump in the shower and just rinse everything, follow up with cleanser, Clarisonic, what have you. This is what I use to take off my makeup, and it works amazingly. So excited to tell you guys about this because it's, you know, kind of a new discovery for me, but I'm so confident to recommend it to you guys. It doesn't matter that I discovered it in the month of December. It's easily one of my favorite things of all time. And it's the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. And specifically, I'm talking about the one in this blue bottle. I know there's a pink one. I haven't personally tried that one, but I love this blue one. And the difference between the two is that this one is marketed towards even waterproof mascara. I think the other one just for normal. I've shown you guys this first um, in my December favorites, I think, but look how much I've gone through. And I'm so confident in it, I bought another one already. I love this thing. It feels so gentle on my skin. After I use this on my skin, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm stripped. I don't feel tight. And the most amazing thing about this is that it removes waterproof mascara without harsh rubbing at all. I take a cotton pad, I soak it, I put it on my eyes, and I wait for a little bit, and I maybe rub it once or twice. My waterproof mascara, gone. And if you wear waterproof mascara, you know how amazing that is. That rarely ever happens, okay? This product, it says that it's no oil, no alcohol, no fragrance. Like I've said before, I don't know how this works, but it works amazingly. Not to mention, um, I feel like my skin cleared up a little bit. I have some clogged pores on my cheeks and on the bottom part of my face. I feel like since I've been using this, it, that cleared up a little bit. Oh, also this takes off liquid lipstick. Okay, like the really matte liquid lipsticks. I don't know how I can tell you how excited I am. Plus, it's from the drugstore. It's Garnier. Um, you know, it's $6.99, I believe, at Target. So this is really worth trying out. Personally, I've never tried the Bioderma, so I don't know how the two compare. But I just know that this works really well. So if you've tried both, let me know which one is better. If the Bioderma is even a lot better than this, which I can't, I, like, really, it's hard for me to imagine something to be a lot better than this, especially at this price point. I know Garnier does a cleansing oil. I hated that product, but this micellar water is amazing. I absolutely love this. One of the best finds of 2015. Okay, I want to talk about my perfume before I jump into some of the lippies that I want to mention. I mentioned on my channel I'm a one perfume kind of girl. I only wear one perfume. I believe in having your signature scent and sticking to it. And the one that I wear, which weirdly is not one that I hear a lot of people talk about at all, um, I love, 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 I've been loving this perfume for such a long time. This is the Estee Lauder perfume in the scent Sensuous. I've been wearing this exclusively since high school. This perfume is the best thing that's ever happened to me in terms of perfume. I don't like to smell like everyone else, you know what I mean? I don't really like the Chanel or like the Flower Bomb. A lot of the signature scents that a lot of people love, they're, they're great on everyone else, but I just don't want to smell like everyone else. This is the best perfume to me. Again, really horrible with notes. I will put it on the screen somewhere what notes exactly it is, but what I like about this is just so, it smells mysterious, it smells very sophisticated, it smells fresh, but it's not like a, and it's a little bit musky as well. Fresh and musky at the same time, if you can imagine. And it's urban, it's feminine, it's sexy, it's not too frivolous, it's not too like, you know, like 
oh like fruity or like sweet it's very it's just perfect I highly recommend you trying this um, there's a bunch of variations of this there's a sensuous nude there's a sensuous nui or noir I forgot but this the original formula is my favorite um, next time you're around an Estee Lauder counter I would recommend you uh, try this out or just take a few sample of it oh, I love this perfume so so much if you've tried this please let me know because I feel like this perfume doesn't get a lot of love but I am ride or die for this perfume just recently got a travel low so I can take this with me on the go it's amazing it's my favorite okay we're gonna talk about a few lippies right now and I feel like lip products can be such a black hole we can easily go off the deep end and start listing like 50 lip products because you know it's the easiest part to change about your makeup routine that can make a huge difference but I'm just gonna mention a few that were so everyday for me for the past year easy to throw on it makes me confident that I know it will always look good First, I want to mention a MAC lipstick. This is, of course, my favorite MAC lipstick and one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. This is the shade Patisserie. As you can see, I'm almost out. I love the smell of these as well, like everyone else. But this is a luster formula, and it's just like the perfect, perfect pinky nude color. It's peachy pinky. It's very easy to throw on without a mirror. Pretty color onto your lips. I discovered this through Viviana Does Makeup and Lily Pebbles. They constantly talked about this, so I had to pick it up and see what the hype was about. They were absolutely right. This is an amazing, amazing lipstick. Next up is another Bare Minerals product. I mentioned this before, how much I love it. This is the Marvelous Moxie. Uh, lip gloss in the shade Rebel. Um, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but I'm basically done with this. There's not much product left in this. But again, it's a pinky uh, lip gloss. You'll see a trend with all the lips that I've chosen. But um, it's right here. Gives a very pretty like sheen on the lips. And it has like a minty smell and sensation when you apply it. It's very pretty. It's just like the perfect pink. By the way, honorable mention, I really love the NYX Butter Glosses too. I just find these, uh, I love the minty sensation on your lips. So if you don't like that, you might not like this. That just makes this a little bit better for me. Otherwise, I feel like in terms of just looks, I think the NYX Butter Glosses are just as good in terms of looks. But this just feels a little bit better because I love, first of all, I love the shade. It's such a pretty like pink on my lips. I love this so much and yeah this again is the Marvelous Moxie by Bare Minerals in the shade Rebel. Next two lippies are actually from Colourpop. I have to mention these. These are so affordable. They're five dollars a piece. Sometimes you can even score a coupon code from one of the bigger YouTubers and they are so comfortable to wear. I love the fact that they're in a like stick form so it's so easy to throw on. I've done an entire lip swatch video on all of the shades I own from Colourpop so if you want to check that out I will link it on the screen right now also down below. But two of my favorite shades I have to say for an everyday kind of wear is cookie and button. Cookie is just like really just my perfect nude. Look how pigmented that is. I don't know if you can see that but it's just so smooth. It's very very pretty. These lipsticks are basically all the same but like I said for five dollars the formula of this isn't worse than the MAC one. Maybe even better actually because they smell really nice too and they're really easy to wear and super comfortable. Button is a little bit brighter as you can see it's a little bit more pink. The other three is a little bit more peachy nude. Button is a little bit more pink but these two have to be my everyday favorites. I absolutely love the entire Colourpop uh, Lippy Sticks line but these two are my most worn. Lastly, I want to throw something in here. This is, again, another Lazy Girl product. This is the Vaseline Spray and Go. I am not one to, you know, butter down my entire body and lotion every single inch of my body every single day. So when this product came out, I thought it was perfect for me. It just, you just spray it onto your skin and it moisturizes you. This is so perfect and it smells really good. I have it in the scent Cocoa Radiant. It's so easy. Again, I share this with my boyfriend, which is spray each other and our skin is um, moisturized in the winter time. This is very, very good product. I also get this on Amazon, cheaper on Amazon. They're either two pack or three pack, but yeah, it's cheaper than in stores for sure, especially if you're like in a major city, New York City, everything is, everything is jacked up. But yeah, I really like this product, make my life really easy. 
Okay guys, those are all the things I loved in 2015. Let me know if you've tried any of the things I mentioned and how you felt about it. Did you love it as much as I did or did you hate it? Did it not work for you? If you think I absolutely need something in my life, please let me know. I'm always down to try out a new product. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!